Oak Creek Canyon in Sedona. If you're not driven up this road, it, uh, it's actually it's really pretty in the uh, summer. All these trees are full of their leaves. They haven't got their leaves yet. And uh, we had a little snow last night, nothing stuck though. And uh, beautiful drive though. If you're going up towards Flagstaff, this is the way I'm headed right now. Um, it's pretty awesome. There's great hiking around here, great mountain biking. Scenery is awesome. There's good restaurants down in Sedona. A little bit, a little bit pricey, but uh, definitely worth it. Can get a little warm in the summer, but uh, still worth coming. Uh, it's not like Phoenix where they're cooking out there. But uh, yeah, this canyon is just really pretty. And, uh, got slide rock up here where a lot of people uh, go swimming and stuff. Yeah, they have campgrounds down here right on the river, but they're busy. I wouldn't want to camp down there. I'm sure it's cool with the kids and stuff, but I don't like camping near other people that often. There are, you can open camp up in the forest, uh, up on Flag, when you get up the plateau, or even down farther uh, south, just a little bit out of town. There's plenty of open camping down out that way. And you do need a Red Rock Pass in certain areas, so something to check into and make sure you get it. Look at the beautiful rock formations up there. I think it's one of the prettiest highways in, uh, in Arizona, to be honest. Just, just pretty, pretty view. Coming up to uh, Slide Rock State Park here. On the left-hand side in a moment. In the summer, it's pretty busy with everybody swimming in there, I guess. Yeah, there it is right there. up on the hills up there. A lot of this burned out a couple years ago. That big old fire up here. It'll all grow back eventually. The canyon's nice though still. Like I said in the summer it's so it's really pretty. These trees just grow in and almost envelop the road in a tunnel. It's actually fun driving this road with the Jeep. I put that uh, larger sway bar on the front. I have a video on that. And uh, that just corner is nice. Just uh, more pleasant to drive for sure. That's a big puddle. Big one there. Yeah, this West Fork right here on the left, awesome hiking. You gotta get there early to get a parking space though. It, even if there's people out there, it is worth the hike. You go, go across that stream and river uh, several times going up and if you keep going you can wade in the water way steeper higher even farther up the canyon a little bumpy here and um, it's uh, the, the, the stream has carved out the sandstone way up there it, it's really pretty worth the trip uh, if you're gonna do a day hike up here that's the one to do it I try to do it during the week if you can not on a weekend because a lot of people out there otherwise you probably need to get there before 8 o'clock in the morning to get a parking space and, um, in order to hike that canyon but uh, worth the hike though called West Fork. There's no parking over there. Stay away from there on the weekends. 
busy, busy. And look at those uh, cliffs above us. Very cool. Lots of ponderosa pines. A lot of down trees on the side of the road from the winter. Yeah, Sedona's awesome. If you like mountain biking, Sedona's the place. They got some great technical trails. Some of them you'll probably die on. I know I won't ride some of them, they're crazy. If you Google on the internet, uh, white, long, well, white Rim Trail, those guys are insane. Riding up on that stuff, you crash, you're dead. But there's uh, plenty of trails for beginner, intermediate, and advanced, and, and then there's, you know, crazy Death Wish type trails. But look at that view right there. That is awesome. 